Welcome back to a brand new PTCG live video. Today I'll be showcasing a Lugia V-Star deck that recently took first place at a tournament. So that being said, let's get into the deck list. Let's see which cards we'll be running. So we do run the three copies of Lugia V-Star for its V-Star Power Summoning Star, where we can get two colorless Pokemon out of our discard pile that don't have rule boxes and put them right onto our bench. So those colorless Pokemon will be Archeops. We'll get some pretty good energy acceleration with its ability Primal Turbo. We can search out two special energies out of our deck and then attach them to our Pokemon. We also do have the one copy of Lumineon V just to help us find a supporter card. The one copy of the Iron Hands EX, very good for the single prize matchup because if we do take a knockout with the Ampu very much, we do get to take an extra prize card with it. We also do have the Flutter main here with its Midnight Fluttering. We do shut down your opponent's Pokemon abilities that are in the active spot. We also do have the one copy of the Blood Moon Ursaluna. Very good for the late game. We could potentially attack for zero energies or even just one energy and do 240 damage. And lastly, we do have the three copies of the Chinchino with its special roll attack. We do 70 damage for every special energy attached to this Chinchino. So the damage does stack up very quickly and we can easily take some one hit KOs with Chinchino. Moving on to the trainer cards, we do have the three copies of Boss's Orders just to gust up something from your opponent's bench. We have the three copies of Iono for Disruption and Draw Support. We have the one copy of Jacques to help us find two Evolution Pokemon. And lastly, for the supporter cards, we have the three copies of Professor's Research. And moving on to the special energies, we have the three double turbos. We have four gift energies. We have four copies of jet energy to help us switch out. And for our ace spec, we do have the legacy energy where the Pokemon that this is attached to, if it is knocked out, your opponent does take one prize card less. And we also have the four copies of mist energy. And lastly, the one copy of V guard energy. So those are all of the cards in this deck that I want to talk about and let us see how it'll do in the matches. Okay, this is uh, finally like a decent hand that's actually can get something done here. Especially that we have ja uh, Jacques and Ultra Ball. Looks like this might be Shin Pao. Yes, it is Shin Pao. Attach Gift Energy. Let's use the Capturing Aroma. Do get Tails. Hmm, I wish I didn't attach that energy, because then we could have went into Flutter Main. Mm. I know, let's take the Flutter Main anyway. Let's pass. So I feel like Lugia does have a pretty good advantage here of Shin Pao, just because we can just one hit KO with Shin Pao for the 220. With the Tempest Dive. So let's see what they do. They they got pretty good at starting hand. They got Irida, so they can get Buddy Buddy Poffin and a water Pokemon. They get the rare candy right off the bat, which is interesting. So they're basically telling us they already got the Vax Caliber. Unfortunately, we do not have the Iono 
We would have to Ultra Ball for Lumineon. And I think I'll just take my chances and go for the Lugia V-Star. Go for the Primal Turbo. Let's get a um, the V Guard and a Jet Energy. Primal Turbo again. Let's get yeah. We'll just get Gift and Jet for the Mancino. Yeah, let's go for the Tempest Dive. I'm just kind of hoping they don't have the Shin Pao. Like another one. Mancino and Lugia V Star. Eh, not two great prizes there. Ooh, they do have the Lumineon. I wonder what they're gonna get. They get Irida. So they can search out for Shin Pao. I wonder if they'll go for the Moonlight Shurikens here. That's very much an option if they went into Greninja. So they're gonna Nest Ball for another Shin Pao. They get the Bax Caliber down. Yeah, they do switch out into Shin Pao. Let's see, I got six cards. They only need how many? Five energies to knock us out. Five. So if they search out two, that means they still need three. Which... I don't know, they already got two in their discard pile. I don't know how many they'll have enough. Oh, I have the Earthen Vessel. What were the odds? I feel like Earthen Vessel is probably just a like one copy of an Ashin Pao deck. What were the odds they had that? So something tells me they got the five energies here. Yep, there's five. Hopefully we get the... At least a gift energy will be activated, so we'll get to draw a couple of cards here, three of them. It doesn't seem like a lot to draw, but drawing three cards is a pretty big deal. That's like having a supporter card being played for knocking us out. Yeah, we got double Great Ball and Capturing Aroma. Going to the Mancino. Nice, we got boss. Let's try the Great Ball. Nice, there's a Chinchino. Let's try Great Ball again. Nothing on that one. Capturing Aroma. Tails, we get a basic. We can get... I can get maybe Ursaluna here. Could be useful. How much are we doing? 140. I said we should boss up the Bax Caliber here.
two on the bench machine though, and like, yeah, let's just bat, boss the back caliber here and knock that out. That should slow them down pretty much very significantly here. Iona. With Max Caliber down, I don't see any way they can attack here now. Yeah, that's the thing with Shin Pao. You gotta really set up to. Yeah, there's Concede. And looks like they're going first, which isn't too ideal. I'm gonna go into Flutter Main here. I can't believe we even had the Ursuline in the starting hand. They have Radiant Zord in the starting hand. Two Lugia V stars. I don't know what is up with these hands, uh, starting hands here. They're just so bad. Let's pass. Let's see, they got Charmander down, Buddy Puffin. Well, it looks like they got a better Iona than we did. Yeah, it looks like this is Drag uh, Dragapult. Let's see, let's use Jacques to get the two Archeops. And let's Ultra Ball them away with. Now I'm going to turn. Okay, they attach another fire energy to Radiant Zord. I'm not sure why. I'm assuming they want to retreat out, but... Gift energy... Let's use a summoning star. Use Primal Turbo again. Get a Mist Energy. And I'm just going to retreat out into Lugia. I'm going to keep the Stadium card. Since we don't run any stadium car uh, any tool cards as Lugia V Star, so if anything, the jamming tower is hurting them more. They get Drag Cloak down. Hopefully, they don't get the Charizard down. Because just as we leave out of Flutter Main. Because they go into Charizard into the active. Yeah, they super run. I'm guessing they're gonna get the Radiant Sword and two energies. Yeah, they did. They use Iona, which really helps us because we had a pretty dead hand. Even from the beginning, we were pretty dead. Nice, we get the Chinchino. Let's 
It looks like they might have the Charizard now because they're Ultra Balling for. Yet yeah, there it is. And they get the three fire energies. They only got two cards now left. Ooh, wow, they go for the counter catcher onto Archeops. What are the odds they had Archeops? I mean, the counter catcher. Go for capturing aroma. Tails. It's gonna actually our saluna. Let's go for the two twenty. I'm gonna keep the stadium card. the Dragapult down. And they have Iono. Wow. A bunch of Treepy. Let's see, yeah, they just go for the Burning Darkness. Let's see, Capturing Aroma, let's get... Guess we'll get Chinchino. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the knockout. We'll keep the jamming tower. See what we get. Machine on jamming tower. Hopefully they don't boss KO our Chinchino, because that's basically our only way to really just to one hit KO the Dragapult, completely get rid of it. Okay, Arvin, but they can still get Counter Catcher, so. Our Seal Stone. They get Beebrel. And they got rid of the far seal stone, interesting. They, they ultra balled it away. Uh, they're using sizes for four. They ultra ball again. Back to back ultra ball. They get rid of boss. What was that? The Clefum? For Pidgeot? Okay, at least they don't have the the rare candy Pidgeot that they could have gotten down. And listen, they're playing all six damage counters on Ursaluna here. Yeah. I'm gonna go into Chinchino. This is really our only ace in the hole here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the Legacy Energy on it. Let's 
see, Mist Energy and Great Ball. We're going to Dreepy. They play Arvin. They get the rare candy, so I'm assuming they're gonna get the Dragapult down. No, they get Pidgeot down first. But it's probably very likely they'll get the the Dragapult rare candy down also because they got the Quick Search and Beebrel. They use it in size for four. And they have Neo Upper Energy. Going to Ursaluna. Try capturing Aroma. Tails. Nice. That's actually what we wanted. We can get Lumineon to get ourselves a boss here. Oh wow, and all three bosses were still in the deck. Yeah, all we have to do is just boss up the Beebrel. Use the Primal Turbo. And that's the last prize. What was this? Iono. Nice. Yeah, we're going second, which is not too ideal. Let's see what we get. Nice, we get the Lugia V, which is pretty good. And it looks like it's gonna be Charizard or Charizard with Dragapult. They're probably gonna nest ball for the Rotom. No, they get the Doof. Interesting. They get Buddy Poffin. Uh, That's a pretty strong hand that they got. They got another Nest Ball, so... They got Litten. So it looks like they're using Incineroar and Charizard then, so no Dragapult. Let's use Capturing Aroma. Tails. Mm. Guess this guy Mancino. Let's use Read the Wind. Hmm. Yeah, I just might use the Professor's Research. Next turn. Yeah, they do nothing for their turn. They just passed. Let's go for capturing Aroma. Nice. We get the Lugia V Star. And I'm just going to research all this away. Let's 
go for the summoning star. Let's get two more energies for Lugia. Let's get Jet and Gift. And let's get two energies for the Chinchino. Let's get Gift and Jet again. And then I'm gonna use Great Ball. Yeah, I get a nice selection here. Let's... I get another Minchino. And let's just go for the Knockout. I get Ultra Ball. I go into Litten. Oh wow, and they do have the Incineroar. Magma Basin. Mila. Talk about perfect. Perfect play here. Put one double turbo on Lugia to retreat. And then let's go into the Chinchino for the knockout. Yeah, we have gift energies. We'll put mist on it. He's capturing aroma. And that's not what we need. I guess let's just get the Ursaluna. Then Ultra Ball for another Chinchino. That was a crazy play they had last turn. Boston Archeops. See, they're going to Charmander. Let's see if they get the Charizard down. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I feel like they will. Judge, that's fine. Let's see, they'll get Four lucky cards, maybe. No, they switch out, so if they had it, they would have evolved up. Yeah, they just can see. Well, those are all the matches. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.